Hi guys, uh, in this video we will be talking about uh, construction of an ellipse by using 4C or R surface method when major axis and minor axis are not given that is only major axis will be given and uh, the uh, information regarding the focuses will be given so that the two points uh, focuses will be given so this is the problem we are going to do let's go back the major axis is 150mm and uh, focuses are at a distance of 20mm Therefore, uh, first uh, I open my AutoCAD script, then go for the unit. It's in inches, change it to millimeters. Okay, then uh, check the limits. Limits 0, 0, enter. And uh, 500. Um, 500, 500, enter. After this, uh, Z enter, A enter. Once this is finished, then I'll take the line command and press my R button on. And I'll take the line command and have a straight line with 150 mm length. So this is 150 mm, I skip. And uh, let me write the information regarding this MP enter. Here this is some 5 let me take. Epsilon A. So this is my first word. Are the first endpoint. This is my second endpoint. This is my B. So A B. This is a one fifty. Uh, second information. He did not give any information regarding the minor axis. He has given the information that the focuses are at a distance of twenty mm and each end. So focuses will be basically on the A B line, that is major axis line only. Uh, there will be somewhere at this point and at this point, but the information is directly given, so let us take the point directly. So, first P, P, Y, P, E. Use P, T, Y, P, E, P type command and uh, change the point style. Keep something like this. Okay. Uh, select the points by using P, O command at each end points. Repeat the command by using space bar or enter bar here and here. Now select this one. Use move command. Use move command. Select A as your base point and move in the positive x-axis direction. How much? As per the information given, 20. So this side it is 20. Drag and write 20 and press enter. So you can see that the point is. Moved. Similarly, we can do for this one also. No? So use move command. Select B as base point and this side 20 mm. So these two are the purposes. So we'll write their names directly. Uh, this one is F1. This one is F1. The same thing will be done here also, but this point is F2. This point is F2. Also, we need midpoint now. Therefore, midpoint will be selected directly by using point command. You can see this uh, midpoint is selected here. Now, uh, as usual, uh, since these two are very much important to me, I'll give some red color for it. Escape. Now, uh, give the name to the midpoint also. This is something like O. We'll be giving every time this is O, therefore, here also we'll be giving. Now, this is your information which is given in the question. Now, uh, step is that from F1 to O, we can take randomly 4 or 5 points as it is like in the previous one. So, here we'll take one. Repeat it to 3, 4. You can take 4 or 3, it depends on your effort. So don't confuse with O, therefore I am using some other color as O. So with that I won't be I won't get confused. See these color combinations will be used for that second. So give them names. Something like 1, 1, this is 2. This is 3 and this is 4. So if you are not giving the names perfectly in the beginning itself, you will get definitely confusion. After this step, what you will do? You will take circle command. From A to 1, you will draw a circle. And similarly, from B to 1, you will draw another circle. Then we will change the circle setter points from A to F1. Escape. And here also from B to F to escape. 
then use point command pivo command for noting down the points of intersection of these both circles which are drawn at f1 and f2 centers with a1 radius and b1 radius simultaneously once these two points are obtained delete these two circles which are not necessary for us delete it then you can give them names something like uh, this is p1 this is p2 this is p2 next step uh, as usual like uh, a1 we will do for a2 repeat the command of circle from b to 2 as usual select uh, the circle and change from center a to f1 and uh, so now also change center from b to f2 from b to f2 now use the point of intersections by uh, select the point of intersections by using pivo command pivo enter this is your next point and this is your next point uh, remaining you give names p3 p4 you give names um, not wasting time so these two things are not necessary i am deleting it again circle command a3 again circle command b3 then change the center from a to f1 escape again b to f2 escape then use pivo command enter this is the next set of points p3 dash and p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 okay then again uh, use circle command a4 repeat the command b4 done then change the center from a to f1 again change the center of uh, b center as b2 change it here repeat uh, point command two times for intersecting these two points these two points are up so these two lines are not necessary for me circles are not necessary i am deleting you see the point sizes are not accurately good so what i can do is that p p y p again press and let it be some 4 and press ok now you can see all the sizes are in equal sizes now what i will do is that i will use mirror command and i will select all these points which are obtained here and press enter and see that my ortho mode is on and from o i will draw a straight vertical line like this as an axis of my rotation and press no then all the points are obtained so now join all these points to get a smooth curve which is an ellipse so this is the process blind fit i'll take now use a 0.1 0.2 0.3 0.4 yeah, in the previous problem we used to have a center point here that is the minor axis but there is no option here so 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.9 then b then this point this point this point this point and remaining points also you join remember one thing we do not join the last point we use the close command if you are not using the close command we will get a sharp edge so use the close command therefore the curve is obtained now select this curve use some different color and then uh, give some line weight for the line weight to be shown we have to press the line weight display so here we will get it then as usual we will type the information empty and up, somewhere here whatever the information is there i want you to have phi height therefore phi height i have selected and here the construction of ellipse whatever this thing is there i will write it there so i will type it here and tick mark and i will just click on it once and click on it once and here the error mark is there i will drag the error mark so that it will be looking good then I use zoom extend so that everything is zoomed out and I will move this one a little this side so that it looks good so whatever the unnecessary things are I am deleting them dimensions this is all for the previous problem so I am deleting it directly the major axis is given and focuses are at a distance of this where we will see it one four finished I can keep it wherever I want, so I am keeping in the bottom, 
number here. So I'm keeping it here. Information is kept. So this is how you draw the arcs of circle to the left. Basically, in this question, what they'll ask another one thing is that find out the minor axis they'll be asking. So find out the minor axis length means how much we don't know, right? So how do you do how minor axis? Minor axis will be exactly at the center point that is O, which is in vertical direction. So what you can do is that you can draw a straight line, something like this, and select this line, select this midpoint, and keep it somewhere here. Escape. Then use trim command and remove unnecessary parts which are obtained in the bottom and top. So remove it. So therefore, whatever the line is there, that is your uh, uh, minor axis which is obtained now. Minor axis. So if we have to give names for it. Therefore, this is uh, this is the name that is C, and uh, this is your next name this is d this is d this should be done if the question asks you to find out and uh, even now the diagram is not finished because we did not do the annotations so use the annotations and uh, select this line keep it here escape and again use the annotations here for this line also you do and select. if this cd line should be drawn only if the question asks and see that the diagram in the diagram annotations are not visible to me perfectly. What should I do to them? Then I have to use dim command, dim style command, D I M S T Y L E dim style command. Press enter. Modify. In the modify, in the symbols and arrows marks, you can give the change it. It's 0 0.18. I'm changing it. In the text also, it is 0 0.18. I'm changing it to some 4. And then press OK. Then close. You can see 150 and 101.97 approximately 102. So this is how you finish the diagram. After this, the diagram is finished. Here the question is focus or at a point of 20 mm from the end points of the uh, major axis that is the end B and uh, minor axis dimensions are not given to us. So this is how you do the construction of analysis by using four C R arcs of circle.